So in this video, I'm going to show you to check whether substring is present in a string or not by using Python programming. So I'm going to perform this program by using both with and without functions. So first, I will go with the function one. So just open your Python editor. So let let me just assign a string over here. Let be some key and some blah blah blah. Okay, key is the substring that we are going to search over here. So the code is going to be print c dot and find is the name of that function which checks whether the substring is present in the main string or not. So it's going to be file and just you're going to pass the substring to be searched. So key within single quotes inside the find function and just save it and run. So okay, you can see here one. So one, what does one means? One is a count actually. So he is present only once. And uh, so it just can be simply done by using a if loop and if this passing this condition c dot find and printing this pound or not. But the main drawback in this is that uh, this can't this find function can't work for continuous values. For example, let me put just he he like that he he he. So actually, at least this find function should return one or count as three. Okay, that's what we would expect to it to do. But actually, it does not work that way. So if you just print it, it clearly returns zero. So that means that it uh, validates based on words. Okay, uh, words and it calculates only the word with spaces, and it does not perform anything on an uh, Without words, okay. You can't search a so like a substring without a word. Okay, it should be only a word in the particular sentence or a string. So that's a drawback in this find. So to overcome this drawback, what we are going to do is we are going to use without uh, without find function. The standard program can be used in any anything. So we are going to do perform a program without using find function to find a substring in a main string. So first, let me just uh, same thing. We are just going to get a string. So it will be Hello, it will be some that same thing. He he, LL or something random thing. Okay, same thing. So you can even input it. Okay, no problem. Input it from the user. So I'm not doing that. I let the substring S U B be the substring. Okay, let C be let it be M A I. Yeah, main. Okay, main to refer it clearly. Substring is going to be same thing. He okay. Or substring we have got the main. Thing. First thing what we need to do is we need to find the length of the substring. That's the main thing. First what we're going to do. So let me say l equal to length. So length is a simple returns the length as length of sub substring. So if you want, I will just print and show you the output. Print l. Okay. For those who don't know, it's a basic thing. Okay. So you can see here and uh, two. So because he he only two digits, two letters are there. So okay. So we are now good. So next thing, what we need to do is suppose let us assume let us still modify some other random things are there. Okay. Some random. Let us okay. We need to find only he okay from this main substring. So first thing what we need to check is whether the first letter of the substring matches the matches with any of the any of the individual letters of this one. Okay, so it may repeat, I will repeat again. First letter of the substring matches with any letters, maybe any letter even or any index position from first to n. Okay, that's what we are, we are going to check. That's the starting condition. So for that condition, we're just going to use a for loop and a if condition. So it's going to be just for i for i in main. So this is used to iterate the each and individual letters of the main string from first to last. And inside the for loop, it's going to be just a if condition. So if condition is going to check whether the first letter of the substring is, is present in the main string. So it's going to be just i equal to sub of zero. Okay, sub of zero he refers to the Clearly refers to the H. Okay, H is present in the substring, the first letter of the substring. Okay, so here the H is present in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth index of the main string. So this I for I loop will be running four times and three times, and the fourth time the condition will get satisfied. Okay, so after getting into this, we need to check whether this next letter is going to be he. Okay, so for that, what we are going to do is we are going to just compare it. It's basic comparison. You can use string compare anything like that, but just Python allows us to compare words. Okay, it's going to be a part of com string comparing and a mixture of uh, string slicing. So it's just going to be main, and we are going to slice a part of it and equal to sub, and we are going to slice a part of sub. Ah, it's not when we're going to slice sub. It's just going to be sub because. Sub is what we are we are going to compare. So we are just going to slice a part of main. 
so how to slice a main we need to pass some two values beginning and end so here's the trick that that's how it's done first we are going to pass a empty okay n equal to zero it's going to be just an empty empty integer and we are going to pass first here n and we are going to, starting value is going to be n and the ending value will be ending value is going to be the n from n and added with that length l of the substring so it's going to be n plus l okay suppose we are starting from zero suppose we are in zero starting value will be zero in the first iteration and the ending value is going to be if i am assuming the first value is going to be h starting value is going to be zero and the ending value will be zero plus l zero plus two so it's going to slice from zero to two so zero to two repeats uh will return the l d okay thus it will return l d i'm saying is an example so it will compare with sub okay so by this way multiple two letters first two then second two then third two like this i'm pointing it over then the next the fourth two okay this he will get our condition will get satisfied over here so during this time this if condition if main dot uh, this condition will get satisfied 100 percent and let's create and after once this condition is satisfied we will just increment the count count plus plus okay so no worries i will create count equal to zero okay the advantage of doing this method is that we not even we not uh, we can check both whether the, whether the substring is present and even we can even return this count which can't be done in find okay so once this is done and and the count will get subsequently incremented so basically this problem gets particularly in a uh, over but you have to add another one value valuable thing over here we need to increment n value because n can't be static at zero because n needs to go from suppose if n should be one two so depending upon the n value we are going to iterate throughout uh, multiple characters present in the binary so for that what we are going to do is uh currently inside outside the if first if so it should be actually uh, comes under the for loop itself so for and if uh, for and if and this n has the same priority in, inside the for loop so you're just going to put n equal to n plus one or n plus one something and let for clear understanding n equal to n plus one so simple thing so this takes care of the iteration of n value so let me show you a simple example okay first first thing okay let me clearly explain it so first l first n is zero so if i i in main i will check whether i is equal to sub of zero condition fails because sub of zero is h l is not equal to h so it won't go inside this and next thing n value will be getting incremented so n value becomes one okay so again so i will i will be also getting me also getting incremented so i will be d okay so d not 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 equal to condition fails not will not go inside the if condition n value will be incremented i value will be incremented so like p it won't go inside and n value will reach two and after uh, reaching here uh, n value will be three and i will be okay n value will be 3 while reaching h n value will be equals equaling 3 n equal to 3 okay n equal to 3 so when n equals 3 i will be h okay so h is equal to sub of 0 and the condition is true and okay and main equal to n plus l so it's going to be main of 3 plus 5 so 3 plus 5 returns the third and the fourth let us present in the main string. So 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 is h and 4 is he. So this uh, basically returns h e for n equal to 3. So e equal to sub, sub is substring. So condition becomes true and count gets incremented. So this process will get repeated until the last element. Okay, until p. So I can stop before that because that doesn't that, uh, that doesn't cause a huge problem. So that's that's the code. It is now just print finally print count okay that's it let me run this code now okay, invalid syntax uh, okay. count plus plus okay so let just let me just put count equal to count plus one module and now you can clearly see three okay so he 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 clearly you can get the count okay that's you should see plus plus okay, count plus plus so i thought of doing it so python okay so now if i just uh, delete all the nouses null he is present here i think is that now if i run 
output will be zero. Okay. Let me try it another one also. Single H. Let me H H H H H. But there's actually only one H E over here. Now let me run it. So count is one. And uh, without this count also, this yes, you can also add the string is found like that something. If you can use if condition and uh, I will do that also to show you. Huh? So if count uh, is greater than zero, uh, this should come outside the for loop. Print uh, substring percent. Then just go to else else print not present that's it so by this way you can also just if you want to check whether the it's present or not so this is a simple way and that's it and thanks for watching and i've done many other tutorials in different languages check that's check my playlist of my channel thank you